Okay. Well, uh, I will start by explaining what kind of, of maker, uh, of common maker I am. First one, I'm, I'm the type that doesn't like to borrow tools, okay? Like some of you. Uh, two, that type who loves to buy tools and after thereby, he started to invent what I'm going to do with them. And third, the maker who hides the value of the tools to the wife. No, it's a preventive maker. Well, I will start the story in the hospital in 2005, which was the unforgettable year for all makers. First, I sold my companies, my company share to my partners. Two, Chris Anderson uh, was inventing the term maker movement. Uh, three, uh, Benzi was creating the Arduino in, in Bologna. And four, YouTube was born. I, I, I think that YouTube is, is very important in, in the maker movement, is my opinion. Well, I learned, at least uh, from my, my daughter, that a guy like me, but very rich, uh, had rented a shed in San Francisco and put a million of dollars of machines and tools and launched a new kind of business called the makerspace, where the people would pay to use per month or per year. Tech shop was born. Uh, do you know tech shop? L listen about tech shop or not? Tech shop is a huge tech shop, more than 10 shops. The last one, the only open till now, in, is in, in uh, Le Roi Merlin, in, in North, Paris North. Is, uh, they, all, uh, they had uh, 10 shops, 10 uh, maker space in the USA, but two years ago, they been hooked. Uh, a very strange story, but let's go. Well, passed a, a week. Passed one week, I got one on a plane and, and flew to California. The founder is a very nice guy. The name is Gene Newton. Uh, Gene Newton was the crea creator of, do you remember, uh, remember paintbrush in New Windows? You can design something with paintbrush in New Windows. Gene Newton was the creator of paintbrush and sold to Microsoft. He's a very nice guy. And he understood that quickly I wanted to set up a makerspace in Brazil. After a lot of conversations, some many lunches, and he agreed that I could assemble many, many stores I want just with a cheap payment, a very low payment. Uh, he, he likes that my intention to, to to, cop, to to make a tech shop in Brazil with tech shop brands. I started looking for investors, it's not uh, an easy job. And for three years, I traveled to United States and Europe to get, to get visit another workshops and, and hacker spaces, garages, and all this making environment that was taking shape there. I visited many hacker spaces, some fantastic, like Noise Bridge. Noise, Noise Bridge is, is crazy, it's unbelievable. I took advantage of my, my stay in California and took a course of design thinking also. I went to some maker fairs. For a number of unimportant reasons, I didn't make the tech shop in Sao Paulo. But after a few years promoting, activating, and lecturing about the maker movement, the fourth industrial revolution and maker education, I ended up in opening Engenho Maker. Engenho in Portuguese means a, like a factory, but in the past, the uh, sugar cane factory, when you produce sugar in very past, in, in the history of Brazil. Então, Engenho Maker is related to engineer, to factory, and to make something, no? Uh, 
I found a tech uh, uh, engineer maker, a maker space, much more modest in a charming place. Let me show you. Oh. Uh, here is engineer maker in the maker fest. Uh, was like a Maker Fair, but the model of Maker Fest, uh, we copy, we copy, no, we, we do together with Indian partners. Uh, Maker Fest is the Maker Fair in India. Well, I, I, I made uh, seven editions of Maker, of Maker Fest in Engenho Maker. Well, uh, there, there we encoded people in in, in engineering maker with disabilities, including mental, uh, to participate in workshops, startups, and our maker fests also, which were amazing. Uh, we received some some children, blind children, autist children, and um, all disabilities, and they loved the maker fest. Also, I, I taught uh, design thinking classes here at in Sao Paulo in design, Sao Paulo Design and Thinking School, uh, mainly on the themes of ideation and prototyping. Uh, uh, and classes in, in engineering maker, I made some classes for educators and teachers talking about the maker movement and one of these students uh came in, came to look for me at my home and told his dream let me see if i have oh is this guy in the uh, market it's, the name is felipe carvalho is a, a brilliant psychiatrist well let's go uh, he had been very impressed with the maker movement and wanted to bring the experience into the public. Psychi said it's difficult to word psychiatric, I know, psychiatric hospital, where he, he was the clinical director. At first, I thought he wanted me to give a talk to the doctors and the occupational therapists there. No. In fact, he wanted me to set up a maker space inside inside a madhouse. Well, my wife and and I looked at each other and we said yes at the same time. Then it starts. What is, that's the point that Eloise invited me to tell to you. Two days after this invitation. In our acceptance, we went to visit the hospital. We took a huge fright. Let me see, show you. Look, this is the hospital. It's, a, it's a, like a farm in the middle of Sao Paulo town. Many trees, many fruity trees. It's, it's very amazing, it's lovely. And uh, it belongs, the, he, the owner is the Sao Paulo government. Is very well uh, kept you now with a lot of money, of course, but the employees is, is love this hospital. Uh, it's really impressive the quality of the, the, the workers and, and, and the kindness that I have for the patients. The Pinel is amazing, I told. Our mental. My mental image of a, a madhouse is completely different and much worse. In, first, in the first me meeting with the board, uh, we start to realize that you would be a little more difficult than anything we could have feared. We would start by taking care of drug addicts, the first adult, you know, uh, who had been removed from the streets. Just a week ago, I, 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 I choose to, no show, to not show to you how is the place when the drug addicts live in Sao Paulo. It's, uh, it's near the downtown, you, you could imagine. It's like a, a zombie film, a zombie movie, it's terrible. Uh, Eloisa knows very well. 
Tá? He's, he's, he's just in the, the center of São Paulo. Well, these guys that, that we will attend leave this, this place less than one week and, and go to the hospital. Uh, <clears throat> in uh, somewhere, some of these this, uh, this people were there voluntarily, others by court order, by a judge order. We could use the, the recommendations of the hospital. We could use any sharp piercing tools or hammers. If possible, we should not approach within a meter of the students. And another huge list of precautions regarding our physical, patrimonial, and emotional safety. That's the, 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 the a problem. It's almost impossible. You don't involve involve yourself with the, 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 the patient. No, excuse you... me, uh, Michelle. Excuse me. No, Just please. let me make uh, some observations here. Um, we were talking about that. Uh, here in Brazil, it's very different from other places, as, uh, for example, in the United States, or uh, where they have the culture of the volunteer. We don't have. Really? or other uh, people from Asia, they have this self compromise this um, willing to, to do better for their country and for their uh, people. We don't have this. You can mm -hmm. imagine it, many times people from the MIT ask me, why don't you start a code dojo in Brazil, for example? You can't imagine how difficult it is to do anything here uh, to volunteer. If I want to work in some, we don't have even laws for that. It's, it's terribly difficult to do anything for free, for free, even if you pay something. Um, when I start, I was, I invited so many Brazilians that uh, we have the Brazilian network here for Scratch, our cell network. But it's very, very difficult to do anything uh, as a volunteer. So when um, Michel uh, decided to, to do that, he had to face all these difficulties too. We have no support at all to do anything for like that. Is that right, Michel? Right, and, and worst of that, in this hospital, it's forbidden to be volunteer. It's, uh, we, it's completely forbidden. <laughs> it's crazy. By the other side, here in Sao Paulo, Eloisa, we have uh, 10 uh, fab labs uh, absolutely free. Uh, and the owner is our our city, you no, know, the our date. Uh, in São Paulo, we have twelve of this, but not volunteer. You no, know, the, the the workers uh, receive salary. And it's important. It's very difficult to 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 be volunteer here in Brazil, and much more difficult to fund, to to raise money to do something. Uh, is is very complicated also. I try, I really, I try. I, and I give some money from university, but much more or less than I, I could do. Okay, well, thank you. Sorry for this interrupting. Another problem. It's, it's no, just no, to, to understand the, <laughs> the difference you. among Now go ahead, every, every, everyone, please interrupt me. Well, I, I told about the, the rules that the hospital imposes. Sure, I don't follow anyone. Okay, I have some some tools. Uh, I don't could maintain one meter of distance of the guys. It's impossible. No, uh, we during the well, as you see in this photo. No, I. It's a very amazing people also like like you or, or you. 
Well, uh, of course, we, we thought, why did we accept this invitation in the first moments? And we received the information, the workshops needed to start next week. Oh my God. And they took us to visit the makerspace room. Many employees were curious about this so-called maker work workshop and filled us with affection. One question, all of you perceive, are seeing that my English is, is bad and rusted, including the pandemic make worse, more worse yet. Could you understand what I am? I wrote and I'm reading some parts, okay? Yes, yes, yes. But we you can, can interrupt, I try to explain better. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Your English is fine, huh, Jose? <laughs> At least as fine as mine, so perfect. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm grandson of French people also. <laughs> okay. My surname is Michel, okay? Uh, but my French is worse than English. Uh, well, in the first workshop, would have 18 students. And the only requirement is that only who want to be referred. I wouldn't attend to anyone who was forced to be there. It's the first rule, my rule. Okay, you can uh, force nobody to, to, to camp. And the, the, the hostel follow this, this, uh, this order. I, bought, uh, I don't know if in all countries, IMDF is IMDF. No, it's a medium density board. It's like a, a wood, but not, it's a IMDF. I don't know in, in French, I don't know the name. Of the it's like a plywood, man. It's not a plywood. Yes, yes. Uh, we call it in French MDF. Ah, oh, great. Uh, it's not a wood. It's like uh, easier and uh, cheaper to to handle. Really? Yes, yes. It's called MDF in French. Do you know it? Great. Uh, well, I bought three MDF sheets, and the me um, MDF in Brazil is more larger than the in the world. It's like it two and a half meter for about three meters. It's very difficult to, to carry, it's, it's terrible. I bought three MDF sheets and plywood also, and put it then in my CNC router, in my garage. Let me see if, if I have a, a look in part of this, this picture. I'm, cut, I'm cutting, I'm halting, you know, uh, some, some products, no? In my garage, hospital, uh, we, we have anything to do it. And I, I made, I, I, I had 18 students, but I made uh, 26 uh, stools and I reserved eight stools for the hospital staff. In the workshop, uh, as I I made in the the, the workshop, uh, I would talk a little about the maker movement, explain what is what a CDC was, and assembly the tools. In, in the end, I showed them three things we could do in the next workshop for them to choose. I ask, what do you prefer? I show three three things. And they choose the two box I show here. Um, I, I love the, the, the shoes. At the end of this workshop, we realized that we had arrived in paradise. At this moment, we love the hospital, the people, the, the, the patients, everything. <clears throat> Some testimonials, and I will show in the future, even today make us cry, me and my wife. Uh, by example, do you want to be my partner? I receive every day, I receive this, this question. The, uh, the dream of these guys that uh, I, I make some things with them to sold in the, in the city, in the, in the streets. Uh, 
another guy told me, another, no, various told me, these workshops is better, much better than cocaine. And you could imagine uh, in the hospital, 26 stools strolling through the, 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 the hospital with the exclamation, I did it, I did it, like a trophy. It's amazing. Uh, this uh, made a huge impact in the hospital. The, these workshops took place, the first one, uh, early in Wednesday, in a one Wednesday. On the Wednesdays afternoons, the family of the, the patient visited the, visit them in hospital. Some patients were asking to be able to stay longer in the hospital so they could do another workshop. The hospital attended uh, five or six. It's amazing. Uh, it, for these guys with uh, some comorbidities, the hospital is terrible because uh, they, um, they want to get out as soon as possible. And some guys ask, it is really is a fact. They asked to the hospital to stay longer to do more workshops. <clears throat> the hospital clinic, clinical management decided to start a scientific study of the workshops, uh, the healthy study, you know, a scientific one. They say that they haven't finished yet till now, till today, because of the COVID. I don't know if, if we have in the, in the future. Do we, let me see one, one slide here. The first workshop, ah, well, it's the other story. This is a very important point. Uh, I received uh, a lot of, of news from the, the, the employees that the relationship in, inside the hospital uh, is started to change. The relationship the patient and patient, patient employee, employee and administration, uh, and they feel that the, 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 the main cause of this, this, these changes was the, the, the workshop. And explain, and I try to understand and explain, is, is because in the workshop, one, one, one man worked together with another. And for this, this turn is in a, in a, a colleague of, of work. It's much more difficult to fight after that. And the relations really, we feel the, the changes, in, including the, uh, because Dr. Felipe uh, was my friend till now, he told me that the relationship in, with the managers and the doctors are changing too, because it's much more easy to, to maintain the, these people calm. Well, I, I'm very apassionate. <laughs> you excuse so me. So my... the, the workshop worked positively, not only for the patients, but also for all the staff at the hospital. Yes, it's, it's a fact. I listen to now. You changed this hospital forever. Forever is very important also. Despite we have a, a, a laser uh, lost in a hostel, we changed some different, I made some difference here, there. Well, well, due to the tranquility in which the workshops, the workshops took place, we compared it to other activities because the hospital have another, uh, another activities, a recreational or, or laboral, another things like uh, gardening, cooking is very nice the the, the 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 job due to the to tranquility in which the workshops took place we compared it to other activities at the hospital they they decided to test the workshops 
with the most difficult public, children and teenagers from nine to 18 years. Well, it's, it's, it's the most complicated experience. We have a uh, few photos because I prefer to do not take photos of the children, but the children, the, the, the very sad thing about the children in this hospital, uh, it's very sad to know that the parents of the children were dependents also, and some of grand grandparents also. So these guys, these boys, uh, was the third generation of addicts in a family. It's, for me, it's very difficult to, to understand. It was, uh, without a doubt, the most difficult experience in one, and one that tests our emotional preparedness to the limit. It's, it's very difficult. I want we and my wife, uh, me and my wife, wanted to, to give affection, release our paternal instinct, and we, we couldn't. They arrived at the hospital with several comorbidities, um, and then I, 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 I feel much more sickness in the children than the, than the adults. Uh, it's, it's terrible. Uh, they arrived with a lot of comorbidities and some quite aggressive. Still, I believe it, is a, it was worth with it also, with the disguise also. Like the adults, they had fun and we received a report, some reports that coexistence in the homes was visibly, visibly better. For this group, we start to diversify, and this may interest you. For this group, we start to diversify the workshops a little, diversify as I could, showing some LEDs in Arduino, lighting LEDs in Arduino, some step motors. I, I, I left some, some step motors with some gadgets to see how to control uh, these motors with a computer. And our intention was to gradual, gradually talk about codes and robotics. I joined uh, some friends, very good in, in code teaching and, and in Scratch also. And we start to do something. I will start making some toys and competitions like a, a car running with LEDs. Uh, it's very nice and, and the boys love it. <clears throat> and another sad point here in Brazil, <clears throat> more than a half of these boys were in, uh, illiterate and alphabet. It's very difficult to, to manage this. And the father also, then the grandfather also, okay? After quatro months of the, 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 the beginning of the, 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 the shops, we were called by the direction with the follow, following challenge, the third, the third one. Let me show you the, uh, when I, the laser arrived at the hospital. Here we are. The hospital was a service, uh, uh, aside the hospital have a service that treats that treats autistic people aged to, from two to the 18 years with top-notch therapies. It's very good quality therapy in there by a private company. It's, it's not, not belongs to the government. The, the, the service that treats autism is a separate one and uh, sold service to the, the hospital. It's a third part part, you know. Uh, at the time, 60, 000, 60 children were assisted, divided by, by age and, uh, and the degree of uh, impairment, okay? We have a lot of classes. 
two for two to six, two to eight, and uh, depends off of the, the, the autism you have. Well, why, the problem the hospital is, while the children were in therapy, the mothers were kept waiting in a room, and this meeting created several political problems for the hospital, administration and therapy operators. Uh, the mothers was very noisy, uh, very complicated to, to stay inside the hospital, uh, joining with the other sickness and told uh, good or bad from well or not for the administration. And in end of town call us, uh, the board of the hospital called us and offered if you wanted to solve this huge problem for them, the, the behavior of the mothers inside the hospital. Well, we accept as usual. No? Three came in the first in the first meeting, in the first workshop. Uh, the first one, uh, the grandmother of the autistic twins, uh, named Regina, uh, the mother of Igor's uh, autistic, and Grazi. Grazi is a, is a girl, a beautiful girl, uh, with uh, Hat uh, syndrome. It is a very much complicated autism, autism uh, group, no? Like, and uh, this guy, some this mothers was fantastic. In the second, in the first three mothers, in the second one, seven mothers. And after one month, we uh, we we attended forty eight three times during a week. It's a, it's, a, it's amazing. It's I, amazing. It's amazing. Well, then everything we love to do really become a dream. Uh, when when I I start to to attend the, these mothers, uh, I, I really knows what I what we doing there. Along with uh, then we we start to design and make educational educational toys for children. Some commons, other specific specific for some purpose they demanded here yeah i i made a lot of uh, of toys with the laser cutter uh, including listening the 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 ask of the mother no i i i, I made a lot of things uh, but uh, let me return to the mothers the lauder the lot of and jokes they made in the work in the workshops with our sport and participation, we heard and comment on through the hospital. Before the therapies, the children, the the the, the sons, uh, came with the, the mothers in the workshop it, without our support in participation, uh, and sometime. Uh, uh, after the the the, the boys uh, caused some difficulties. Did they prefer to stay in the maker space than to go to the therapy? And we needed to to <laughs> solve this problem. And <clears throat> I had to bribe some some ones mm -hmm. to and took to the hand to to go to the therapy. Michelle. That's amazing. Uh, sorry for interrupting you again, but uh, let's. Um, it's so much thing to, to do with. So we could start asking people if they have doubts because uh, before you really? continue, please. Let's open for some questions, doubts, comments. Please go on. If. Yeah, thank you very much, Michel. So it, it was a great presentation. Um, lo looking at this picture you are showing here, uh, I can see mothers, I can't see fathers. Where are they? Uh, yeah, that's a huge problem. A half of the husband get out when knows about autism. Mm. A half of this 
this woman was abandoned because the autism, autism of the son. It's okay. terrible, it's cruel, but this is the truth. The, the other half uh, is in working. In fact, I attend just one father and one grandfather in 48, uh, uh, 48 mothers. It's, a, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. But it is a problem. It's a, another problem. I, because I, in, with the mothers, I, 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 I don't need to, to be a maker. I need to be a friend, just a friend. And I, I listen about all the emotional problems and, and cry together and his mind so together. I love this, this, this girls. No, including I'm, I'm, I, I'm not in English. I couldn't make this in English, but I'm very, very happy and uh, well tempered. So is uh, I love this company every day. Well, and let me. Some uh, Anders, would you like to to ask something up to to now? Uh, no, not not really. I'm just amazed. <laughs> I'm warm, really amazed. Warm, in, warm in my heart. The worst thing during the the, the the shops, I invited a, a huge number of friends of mine, makers, teachers, doctors, to to see the the shops working in just two or three uh, come to see in life what's happened. The people had some afraid about the mad, mad houses. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's stupid because it's loved to live in a mad house. <laughs> it's my dream to live inside that. You can, you can be free, you can smile, you, is no judgment about you. It's lovely. But next time, look, it's a, really is a party. Mm -hmm. this, this first one in the first, first view is daughter, is the mother of Grazi, the, the, the hat syndrome guy, uh, girl. In the last one is my wife, in a, with blue blue shirt. Hmm. Michelle, well, I've, I've got well, a, go a, ahead. a question for you. Um, you. You talked earlier about um, people in treatment for addictions. And really? so you 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 did uh, you did some uh, some work. So uh, I saw there were some laser cutting, building some, um, uh, so doing some construction. Um, would you say that uh, what you did with these people uh, opened their uh, horizon in terms of uh, professional uh, perspective? Yes, that that's my my target. We, we show that they could make something with their hands and, and sold and live and, and leave the, the, the drugs and, and go to, and, and a lot of them, I, I have some of these patients in my Facebook and I, I don't know the, the percentage, but like 10% leaves the drugs today is in, is, is, uh, have companies, have small companies doing, uh, doing something by, by ourselves is amazing. Oh, they believe in, in what I, I said. And another very interesting, you, could you remember, I told them that in Sao Paulo, we have 12 fab labs, free fab labs, including materials done by the, the, the major of Sao Paulo, of Sao Paulo, uh, Sao Paulo governor, the city of Sao Paulo. 
I, I can share with you the, the, the link of this Fab Labs. And I introduce the Fab Labs for the patients. And a lot of them use the Fab Lab till now. The problem is, is COVID. COVID make a is a huge problem. You can the, the Fab Labs was closed for almost two years. But now I, I, I will insist to, to return to the Fab Labs because, by example, you don't pay for MDF in a certain quantities. You give the, the, the MDF to do everything you want. It's amazing. It's a good, a good uh, government project. <clears throat> I, including, I, 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 I helped to design the model of the free Fab Lab. The name is Sao Paulo Free Fab Lab. I will show in the, I sent to Eloisa the, the link of the, this, this program. Well, uh, during the, 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 the shots, uh, Felipe, the Dr. Felipe, uh, have the idea to, to, to make the first autism challenge, like a hackathon, and inside the hospital to to uh, to receive some ideas about the the about the the putting the the, the autism the autistics in the in the job market and it was very nice <clears throat> we have we received two or 300 people, <coughs> sorry. It was very, very productive. In East, uh, this is in uh, August of two, 2018. Uh, many projects and initiatives emerged from this event. I'm, I'm uh, near the end. Two years later, we participated in a major program by the government when I, I stop, when the hospital stops the, 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 the workshops, <clears throat> the government invite us to, to make other shops in Sao Paulo State. And we go, me and my wife, <coughs> sorry, to the government of the state to multiply these workshops. But when we start, the COVID begins. <clears throat> and nothing we can we can do not all this. I I try to to come back to the hostel this year. I'm talking with the hostel again and let let me see. Well, that's the end of this story. Uh, and I I I made some some appointments here. <coughs> uh, this is another picture of of the challenge, the autism challenge, was a nice. We, now we, we, is, we are the, in the fourth this year. The, the last two uh, was virtual, and, but in 22, we intend to, to return presence. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, thank well, you very the, much. The, uh, no, a little of numbers, very interesting oh, numbers. Sorry. The number of workshops I, I, I want to read, but we produce 9,000 pieces, like you see. A half in my garage by night and a half in, inside the hospital. I have a limit myself, no? my self-limit of uh, the price of whole material I, I impose to spend 20 cents. <coughs> and the best testimonials that I have, the, I told you the, the workshops are better than cocaine. I want to be your partner. It's a lot of times. I'm, I'm going to get off of drugs and buy a laser. Every workshop, I listen to that. I don't want to leave the hostel. I want more workshops. You change this hostel forever. I love the smell of wood burnt in the laser. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nice story. I, 
<laughs> in the future i told you autists don't autists don't lie they love you the mother many mothers told us <coughs> Uh, the, the, pro, the next is all. This was the first toy that my son played with. When you make a workshops, come back. I listen every day to now. Well, my, my our learnings. You don't need uh you don't need to make a space and a lot of money to do something. The things made by the person are the most valuable things they have that's not my 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 words no the, this this word this citation is the second of mark hatch maker movement manifest no no the second the set the 60 uh the do do and teach to do with your heart that's the first in my opinion and then very important do the people don't like uh, take selves like me don't appear in the slides you can <laughs> I, I i had no i had it one thought with me autistic children love dinosaurs i don't know why but he loved and the last you read please you all my listeners today i read in you all with this better than i did you i'm uh, I'm learning with you, of course. But that, that's all, folks. Uh, I'm. What you have? What you, you feel about it? Believe okay. it or not. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. I think you could stop sharing your screen, please, okay. and so we can see each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Uh, please. Uh, I'd like to, to, first of all, say that uh, unfortunately Maureen had to leave Red and I saw Jorge Gonzalez from Mexico, he was here, he congratulated you and asked to say he had to, to, to leave, but he enjoyed very much your presentation, <coughs> thank you. Thank you. Also, we have here our good friend Soban Kim from South Korea. Please let Hi. me introduce you. Uh, so, Enkin, please turn on your microphone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank me you too. for your amazing presentation. And I am very uh, inside your uh, work, hard work. Yes. It's a great nice job. Nice work. Yeah. I... Nice work. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Solon King. Uh, Adele, are you there? Yes, yes. I wanted to say a lot of things. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for uh, your presentation. I really loved your work. I think that you, your work is something that it's not enough just to show. It is something that you live. Really? You understand? It's something that you live because you need to feel to feel uh, to feel it. It's the, really? the kind of experience that you really live it. And uh -huh. after that, showing the pictures and so on, it's not enough to, to show really? all the emotion behind. Yeah, it's exactly the point. I, I I invite a lot of people to 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 go to the hospital and feel, but uh, exactly. it's difficult. It's very difficult to to tell this story. Exactly. So it's I, I think people they really need maybe in our community we know this because we already do training, but for a person who never did a training, I think yeah. it's like it's impossible to feel this to feel <laughs> yeah. when the kids. They come to your workshop and then they are excited. Uh, they want to do things and the end of the workshops, they are more excited because they did these things and they want to stay more or to come back to your workshop. This is mm -hmm. uh, the first point I wanted to, uh, to do a uh, congratulation for you. The second point, 
I think for the kids who are addicted, I think it's important that when they make their products, they share them. They really? show them in, for example, in, uh, in, in fair or any kind of places. It's extremely important that other people, they come and they yeah. see their work. It's rewarding that around, uh, I mean, uh, people from the outside of your community, they can see this work. I'm sure that it will increase their therapy and their health. So, really? uh, Louisa, I think you just try to, to do a fair or an event where you can present and all people from the, from the hospital and uh, for, from people, normal people, they can see their work. It's extremely important. Really? And I'm sure that, that they will be extremely happy to, 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 see, uh, to see this. That thing uh, is posted, uh, really? Yeah. Eloisa, someday you, you need to, to, to tell for these amazing guys the history of Finici uh, Oliveira is a, a therapist here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. a, in a in a mad housing hill. It's amazing history. And I, I will send you, if you want, uh, have yeah, a you can share the link. Yes. Yeah, I show the link to you and yes, we, we share. Mm -hmm. It's amazing also. It's exactly what you're saying. Uh, if you show, if you use, a, use you what you think like a trough, is amazing. And, and that's happened with the children, with the parents. When the parents show, uh, see, saw the, the, the products, uh, the acceptance of the children grow, grows up incredibly. And the adults also. I'm thinking that including the employees of the store also, mm -hmm. because I made a, one third of the products that I made, I give to the, the, the employees. It was amazing. Really a very nice experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so, one thing, uh, do you have any kind of um, associations or working related to makerspace or something like that mixed in uh, interdisciplinary um, experts, for example, engineers or ICT people with hospitals or social work, something like that. Please, could you tell something about how is it in Korea? Okay, in Korea uh, environment uh, about the makerspace, uh, we apply to make space uh, focused on uh, curriculum for K-12. Uh, for example, uh, we have a national curriculum about the uh, informat informatics subject. So uh, many maker space are teaching scratch and entry, uh, entry to block-based uh, programming language and Python and every mentor. So we focused on uh, digital work, digital uh, uh, product digital. work. So, mm -hmm. uh, and the curriculum con consists of, for example, uh, make the uh, drone and uh, coding right. with coding, yes, or uh, make 3D printing or, or uh, digital artwork. So uh, uh, in these days, we focused on digital work, but um, uh, some make space, so uh, product uh, with like as uh, we share product uh, with wood, with artwork, wood artwork or paper craft. Yeah, and some make space uh, did uh, have the analogic analogic product uh, curriculum. So uh, we are focused on next uh, makerspace model. Uh, what is the digital uh, digital artworks or uh, inter convergence other subject, for example, uh, mathematics and science and technology. Uh, what can mix and convergent this subject. 
So we are trying to apply AI uh, technology and or data science technology with uh, what kind of make the uh, digital product with AI or with data science, we focus the next level maker space. It's so different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, really different. <laughs> it's other, other. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you so much. education is the so, top so of I, the top of the. Uh, we share. Do you have any plan to digital work for uh, uh, Austin uh, student? For Do me? you have any plan to digital workshop? Uh, to do another workshop, really, I, I want to do. Oh, uh, yeah. I have plans. I, 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 I just waiting the, the COVID, you know. I'm, I'm working to join more people. In, to the hospital, it's not difficult to, to, to return. Ah, uh, okay, okay. The laser is stay here. It's much more, uh, it's much more uh, the interest of the, the director uh -huh. today. And uh, uh, here in Brazil, this kind of, of job changes very rapidly. Uh, yeah. you, you are told with one or today, and next week is another. You need to tell everything uh, again. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, the memories of the, 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 the workshops stay present till now. And it's very easy to return. The problem is uh, I, uh, with my age, <laughs> it's, it's not much easy to do okay. a Retired lot people. of things every day. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. other, you don't, you could imagine how difficult it is to part in parts uh, a sheet of MDF in my garage. It's very difficult. And I, 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 I used to buy 10 of, 10 sheets. Okay. okay, okay. And I yeah, need to I cut in small pieces. It's not easy. It's yeah. a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's hard work. Yeah. Thank you, Salonki. Yeah. So, any more questions? Comments? Unders? Yeah, that was great. Thank you very much, Michel. Um, I've got a quick question. Um, so, you, uh, you bought a laser at the hospital, two, really? two lasers. Two lasers. You have two lasers at the hospital. Um, does that mean that today some people have been trained at the hospital uh, to use the lasers? Are, are they being used or do you use them when you go to the hospital? Well, let, let me explain what's happened. Uh, I, I bought two lasers. The first one, I intend to, to, to borrow to stuff. But I couldn't. The hospital, uh, uh, I need to donate. And okay, I paid with some some patrons. No, I, I received some money off of one university to pay to our jobs and materials. But I prefer to spend the money and buy the and buy the laser and put inside the hospital. And it's still there till now. And I bought a, another one with my money and put in the garage because uh, if not, we, I need to stay, including nights in hospital to produce everything to, to produce. And I prefer obviously producing my garage. No, <clears throat> well, about the laser, the problem is the hospital asked me to, to teach the, the employees to use the laser, but we have a bureaucracy problem. Two, two months ago, I, I was an uh, employee of the government also. When I, I left the hospital as volunteer, as I told the government, uh, hired, hired, hired as me and my wife. Well, I could, in Brazil, you couldn't work in a, in a service, in a public service, and the other. It's impossible. The, uh, my, my, my department could uh, borrow me to the hospital. 
but now I can. And I, I'm talking about the, with the hospital uh, to learn the people to use the, the machine. In fact, in the beginning of the COVID, we used the, the laser to make face shields. We made uh, uh, 4,000 face shields, plastic face shields, cut it in a laser and here in, in the hospital to give to, <coughs> to donate for the, the hostels. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. But that is, I intended to, to, to teach the, the, the guys in hospital to, is, 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 is it stupid to have a laser in your hospital? You can move it for another place. You need to use, including you could lost, lose. No? Thank you, Michel. I'd like to thank you very much, Michelle, for yeah, your absolutely very opposite. You, you all are very welcome. I'm very happy to to know you. I uh, from now I I intend to participate in others meetings like this. No, yeah, I'm Eloise. I have all my my contacts, uh, and a pleasure to to talk with you. Thank you very much. And Thank you. We have our contacts. We are together now. I joined it. We yeah. can keep on our conversation and sharing experience and ideas afterwards. All right. All right. So thank Thanks. you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Michelle, for a very uh, inspiring uh, testimony and experience. <laughs> And I think we have a lot to, to learn with. Thank yeah, you. If, if the workshops returns, I invite you you all to visit, uh, to, oh, <laughs> to, to make idea. the workshops with me. That's a good idea. Yeah. Thank you I all, think, guys. Sorry, just to continue for this point, I think it's an amazing idea, especially if, uh, if we work with the young kids. Uh, really? For example, they, after working, they can show to us around the world uh, their, their, their masterpiece sure. and we can congratulate them in life and we will be from different countries. I'm sure that we, they will be extremely excited to talk with us in different languages and uh, different countries and they can also learn about us as countries and as different culture. I think it's extremely important. I, I will be extremely, extremely happy to, to do this and to help organizing this. Thank you, Adam. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you so much, Adele. Really? So, thank so, you all and see you next time. Bye bye, people. Bye bye. Thank people. you. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you.